which is easier to attack before it gets the copper that is underneath uh, the uh, soldering mass. So what I'm trying to say here is after you filter it all out and you get your gold flakes, you can actually refine your uh, your gold flakes with a different batch of uh, with a new batch of AP solution. Same ratio as well. OK, uh, but the only thing is that a lot of people is uh, forgetting about this while tr refining your gold flakes with AP solution is that you have to have your acid at a set certain level. So what I mean by that is when we add in the peroxide, it raises up the alkaline of uh, the solution. See, so what we really want to do is let it sit for a while, let the AP solution sit for a while after not this one, but the one with gold. It's going to be yellow, kind of like Aqua Regia. So once you put your gold flakes inside of uh, the liquid IP, uh, it's going to turn like a gold color, like liquid gold, royal color, right? Uh, it's, it's, a it's a cheaper form of Aqua Regia. So well, what I'm saying is you let it sit for about two or three days so uh, the, the uh, oxygen can burn out uh, the, from the uh, hydrogen peroxide, right? Or what you can do is you can put it on a burner and speed it up a little bit. Be careful because the fumes that come out after you burn out the the peroxide, you can start burning out just like Aqua Regia. The, your gold can go in the fumes. So you can lose gold in your fumes. So don't get it boiling, you know, just a little bit. Test it. If you have uh, test strips, you don't want to get test strips like this. Uh, I don't know where my pool test strips are. Uh, but if you get, you want to make sure your test strips can test out uh, acidity about one or two because you want your acidity for AP solution to be at one or two to, a to be able to precipitate your gold out of that solution. If your acidity is too high uh, because of the peroxide, uh, then you're not going to be able to precipitate out your gold. You can use some SMB and whatnot to uh, precipitate out your gold, but remember, if your acidity is too high, there is still gold inside your solution. Even if you test it with stannous chloride, you're going to see. You need to bring the uh, acid levels up higher, which means actually lower, uh, with down to uh, like a one or a two, right? Um, so we're gonna bring the acidity down to about one or two level. Once it's testing at one or two, then you can go ahead and run your S and B and all your gold is gonna come out of the uh, 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 AP solution. So that's all the information that you're practically gonna need on the AP solution. I know there's a lot of creators that are talking about this and that, this and that. Be careful who you watch because they can mess up your batch. Um, but always make sure you hit that follow button, like, because if you like it, the algorithm is going to bring you back for the next video. And you know my videos are very informative, so you don't want to miss out. Make sure that you share this out to the Gold family so the Gold family knows exactly um, what I'm talking about and, and not to be distrayed by other uh, information that could be out there. So I hope this helps out a lot. If it helped out a lot, let me know in the comments that it helped you out.